And we're going to get into China's private economy. Before that, uh, Jianhua, I know you made yeah. a very interesting trip to mm -hmm. Taizhou, which is in East China's mm -hmm. Zhejiang province, right? Yeah, that's true. I had no idea before you told me that was also one of China's birthplace for small commodities. Yeah, of course. Have you been there before? No, and no. And which city it would remind you when it comes to China's small commodities? Uh, the first thing that comes up would be Yiwu, definitely. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, what's the competitive edge of Taizhou? Yeah, that's true. And Yiwu is well known around the world when it comes to small commodities. But Taizhou, according to the locals, actually, Taizhou is the birthplace of small commodities wholesale markets in eastern China's Zhejiang province. Uh, I went there and I've learned that back in the 1980s and business professionals back then in the 1980s, to be exact, 1982, used to carry their products all the way to the wholesale, the small commodities wholesale markets to trade with other business professionals. But now it has been developing over the past decades. And what's more important is the uh, local government has been uh, providing some supporting policies like Tidal Express. Mm -hmm. Do you know Tidal Express? Uh, is that connected with the Sino-Europe Oh, that's true. Train? Yeah, mm -hmm. the China Europe freight train, mm -hmm. and it's a part of it. And now there are three routes for Tiger Express now, so that all of the products, high end products and labor intensive products, both of them will be transported and exported via Tidal Express every week. Sounds very interesting. Yeah, it yeah. is very interesting. Now let's take a look. And nowadays, goods made in this Eastern Chinese city are shipped overseas, which is one of the ways China is connected to the rest of the world. Hello and welcome to Taito, a city known as the cradle of China's private economy. Taito always reminds me of small commodities, small and medium-sized enterprises and business people. With a population of over 6 million, the city's GDP back in 2022 stood at over 88 billion US dollars. It seems like everything about this city is business, business and business. Oh, that is Pichu, the legendary creature in Chinese folklore. It means prosperity. And dear buffalo. Oh, I like this one. It's a horse. And there is a monkey on it. And that is my zodiac sign. I was born in the year of the horse. 老板, hey, 老板你好,你好 That is my name. The customers are gradually coming back to this uh, wholesale market. It's quite convenient to shop around. But apart from small quantities, Taito now is uh, gradually switching to smart manufacturing and high-end products. Here we go. That was really fast. Only two minutes and 18 seconds. And I've got my pan customized. And here we go. And you can see the initials of my name on it. I never thought there could be so much technology involved in the making of frying pans, kettles, woks. That's a coffee pot and rice cookers. And of course, today I'm so pleased to be joined by Mr. Chen, chairman of AIC. Chenorafitangosinjanani. 恢复了非常好，哎，这个客户到中国来，知道也放心了，在中国的货源也保证了。Most of the products manufacturers in the city will be exported from this railway station via Taizhou Express, and in these containers, you can find a wide range of products, including plumbing, pipe, accessories, 
fabric, sewing machines, auto parts, and miscellaneous products, you name it. Over the past year, Tidro Express has transported roughly 310 TUs of containers, and the value of those quantities stood at somewhere around 32 million US dollars. Well, where are those trains headed? There are three routes now for Tidro Express, and they include 13 countries, including Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Russia, as well as some Central Asian countries. Quite expensive, aren't they? And earlier, I have made an appointment with Mr. Joe, who is the head of this railway station. He's working on a platform to make sure everything will go smoothly. Hopefully, we're not disturbing his work. Joe, Jan, hello, 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 hello. 我们将有什么样的一个变化吗在新年里嗯新的一年里这个我们除了之前这个中亚和中欧的半年现在疫情之后我们还开通了这个中俄的这个半年然后到二月底我们还会开通这个中国的阿萨福国家这个比如老挝